showers around South Florida at the moment, especially in Broward County. Watch your driving, partly cloudy, the forecast, and a slight chance of showers, high of 82, 63 degrees now, Miami, West Palm, and Fort Lauderdale. I'm not in the shape I used to be. Playboy Magazine's party school number one might be
You wash your mouth, son of Jim. Okay? You remember that. I don't know. I don't know what you see in this place. Pete, what is going on here? Why are you breaking into my house? That's a good question. You know that? You're great. I love you. You see, someone took the key from under the mat. Okay. Oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> Pete, what are you doing here? Why aren't you home? Hey, Pete, why aren't you anywhere but here? You're starting to piss me off, Roger. You know what? I'm out. That's all. Okay? I was so alone and I had nowhere to go. I just thought... I just thought I'd bump down on the old couch of whiskey, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. Why aren't you home with Denise? Denise? Oh, God. <laughs> Can't you want to believe it? I'm out. Seven years of marriage. It's over. <laughs> Do you want to talk about it? No. Not now. Okay. Why don't you just stay on the couch? What, are you leaving? Yeah. Ain't love grand. Over so we can do it. <laughs> what did you do, fucker dog, too? Huh? 
Uh, hey, what are you, faggot or something? How you don't want to go to the street slam, you, Danny? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, wait, wait a minute. Listen, listen, maybe you should talk to someone about this. We were. We were? You didn't say a thing. I will. When? When I feel like it. Why don't you feel like it now? Because I'm pissed off. Then you should talk to me about it. No. Like I said, you should see a pro. I can talk to you. You are driving me crazy, too. You should see a pro. Okay. Looks foreign. No. Yeah, I'd say Mexican or somewhere Spanish. Does he look Mexican? Looks like some sort of religious stuff. Yeah. The poor bastard was praying for his life. You know, there's no sign of struggle. How come there's not more blood? Looks like it was easy, like he let it happen. Looks like his head was uh, burned off or cauterized. Yeah. Oh, what do we have here? Well, it's not your homegrown variety. It's Nigeria. Yeah, there's a pocket of Nigerians in this neighborhood, a couple of thousand maybe. It's a place to start anyway. Okay. Bag this puppy. Yeah. I gotta make a call. Is there, is there a phone around here? Maybe we'll, we'll find this guy's head around here somewhere. That would be nice, Absolutely. huh? I'm just going to grab my clothes and some stuff. I'll you. I'm not going to be long. to the niece. How can you... 
How can you be so close to somebody and not know? Hmm? I know what you're thinking. It's not your fault. Well, seems like you ought to know these things, you know? We got police work to do. Yeah. I don't think they have much to lose. Maybe they don't. What you got there, Joe? Not much. Just blood. Report, compare it to the other one, and go from there. Get Giuliani out here. Well, we're in a different world with this baby. Right back. Excuse me. Who are you? Samuel Zulu. Professor of Pan African Studies, University of Miami. It's all this field trip. I am the shaman, their spiritual leader and healer. We are of the same tribe, Igbo most of them. Their friends and families have found refuge here. But no more. It is here. You know the man who did this? He's not your man. He's our curse. And now he's your curse, too. Okay, well, I don't think this is a place to talk about it, okay? All right, you come to my office. We'll talk about it there. I'll be right back. Kill We're not interested in enlightenment. I know what a threat is, but I cannot help. Could you say that again in English, sir? I know what a threat is, but I cannot Why help. Why not? It is beyond my power. What the hell are you talking about, huh? These deaths and the ones to follow. Oh. Oh. Mm. What? What's he that? has come to reclaim the souls that have escaped his reach. These Igbo haven't just immigrated to America. They fled for their lives. More and more, every year, they use any and all means to escape the terror at home and come to this free land. Escape what? Chikati Tumo, the most powerful Orisha. A devil, if you will. It's a lot of bullshit. His power comes from the human spirit. The planets rotate around the sun in an eternal orbit. Chikati Tumo, 
is like an evil sun with its own gravity. Very strong, very deep. I don't expect you to believe me. Notice, notice. He sees potential here. A much larger universe. Sounds more like a corporate takeover than a murder. Why, heads? To separate the mind from the body. The head is his to keep and to nourish with the human spirit within. It's exorcist time, kids. It's bullshit. Excuse me, excuse us. Can we talk about Fine, fine, let's get out of here. You two have to cut through the bullshit. If it wasn't him, he certainly knows who it was. I said let him spend the night in the can. Keep an eye on him. Yeah, well, what do you want to, what do you want to charge him with? Who cares? Nothing. Maybe you'll think of something that makes a lick of sense. Just book this, you book this guy. Can you have it? Yeah, sure. Go book him. You book him? Hey, hey, I don't care who books him or where he spends the night, just as long as it is supervised. You can take him home with you if you want. Well, I don't have a home. I'll book him. Too bad. Thanks for your concern. What are you talking about? That's what I thought. Well, I'll see. I can't talk to you about anything. Just get cracking. Report to me in the morning. See if this medicine man coughs up anything. Why is this so hard? He is a real life suspect. I don't know. Think so? I don't know. He knows me, you know. Maybe he'll give us more in the morning. Maybe. You believe that jury guy? Say yes, I'll make sure you get the cell next to him. Maybe the perception is as important as the reality here. What? Well, I mean, if these people believe, really believe, that there's an unstoppable force, it will cause him a great deal of pain and an ugly death. Then the result is still the same. They're still not going to talk to us. Yes, but that really doesn't answer my question, does it? Well, sometimes strange things happen that have no logical explanation. Believe me, there is an answer for everything. I wish I was so sure. You're full of shit. Oh, and who made you the authority on everything? So, uh, why didn't we ever fool around, huh? Because you're an asshole. Is that the only reason? No. I was just being kind. How kind? <laughs> Go to sleep. Hey, look. I know no day at the beach, but you know, I got... got something, right? Yeah. You have something. I don't know what, but something. Good night. Good night.
we come today to ask you to, to open and to pour the spirit in, this, in our sister. Oh Lord, you listen to me. Listen to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come, sister. Come purify your soul, sister. Stepping into the job, and now gonna leave all that jungle darkness behind. Lord, take the sister now. Take her, Lord. Let me out of here. Get out of here. This fucking river again. Goddamn devil in here. You're slamming the door to a classic car. No, you look pretty snappy today. Did I mention that? Are you in the right place? That looks like the right place to me. Mm hmm Mr. Juro. What is it? We're we're here to speak to Mr. Juro. We're expecting you. Wow. Take it out, huh? We're in the wrong business, maybe. No, I'm kidding. Are you gonna buy me a car like that if I'm good? <laughs> Pretty nice place you got here. In my capacity as educator, I move freely between the two cultures that are a part of me. This teaching job must be pretty good, huh? Had you known about my standard of living, would you still have put me in jail? Or perhaps your paranoia is so great that you would have suspected my crimes also included burglary? <laughs> Come, let us walk in the garden. I'm not surprised. Yeah, me too. Let's go through this head on a number again, okay? I believe I explained to you that the head hunter derives his power from these executions, physically and otherwise. How? Otherwise. Simple enough, intimidation. Believe or lose your head. Logic, I can understand. In other religions, you can be forgiven. In this one, you are punished. And I offer you a drink. adapts to his environment. So is he, is he just going to keep killing until there's no one left? Or until he has command over his congregation. Until he has a willing order ready to obey. One more may die, or 100. Uh, look, you've got to help us find him. What did you do? We kill a son of a bitch. It's either him or us. If you stand in his way, your life is destined to end as have those victims. He gravitates towards those who maintain the most resistance. Wait a minute. Are you telling me we're a target too? Yes. This conversation, by allowing you into my home for this purpose, has posed a real threat to my life also. Tell me something. Are you a religious person? Do you take the Bible for the literal truth? Like what? Do you, for instance, believe the virgin birth of Christ? What does what this have to do with anything, huh? Exactly. How do you expect to understand our religion when you don't even know your own? So there. Wait a minute. This is nuts. You have got to help us find this thing. You have got to help us beat it. I've told you all I know. Playboy magazine for helping fuel these riots. About 200 students arrested with uh, campus administrators promising they're going to consider canceling next year's celebrations. Well, over here on the religious front, we find that the TV is Playboy magazine's party special. Think about it. I mean, somebody's got these people too scared to piss in the dark. I mean, things just don't happen the way these people say, you know? We've got to keep an open mind, don't we? Hi. Thank you. Hey, Raj. How long have you been waiting? Oh, about 10 minutes. What took you so long? Oh, you know, the usual. 
Well, are you just going to stand there? You got to come in and have a drink? Come on, my beer's getting warm. Come on, Kate. Uh, be right there. Come on inside. Okay, I'm coming. Marcus Peanuts to give you bad breath. We hear you know. Thanks. I'm going to go look for you. You want to go with me? Sure. Well, I'll see you. Where the hell is he? All right, I'm going to go up here. You go and see if he's coming around the other way. Okay, I'll meet you back around. Thank <sighs> you. 
I don't know what happened. What do you mean? I don't know how I got here. Jesus went to the Tito Hospital. Uh, no broken bones. Hey, what's happening, guys? <laughs> Okay, let's go check this out. Check what out? Watch it. Hmm. <laughs> Eat dagos, show our messy eaters. Coming out with anything yet? Nothing that you don't understand. What's the problem? The problem is, we got too much ground to cover. People are going to keep showing up dead. What we need is more manpower. These people are shutting up tighter than clams. Honey, if they're not talking, what good is more manpower going to do? It's going to show we care, that maybe we're protected, and, uh, that we're committed to protecting their fucking neighborhood. And maybe, maybe, they talk to us. What are you looking at? Giuliani, to these jungle dweller, it's just like home. Some survive, some don't. Law of the jungle, you know? Look, if these murders are taking place three blocks out of here, we can hear the fucking around with the jewelry. You have the National Guard turned out. Then admit it! You have the fucking National Guard turned out! You saying I'm not doing my job? What Pete is trying to say is that we just need more help. What I'm saying is two sets of rules for the same game. Delaney. They are just Negroes. And they are not even all equals. So just do the fucking job. It's me. I pulled down some extra duty tonight. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I won't be able to make it, but um, I'll be thinking about you. All of you. Cat, I hope you get this. Uh, it's me, Pete. Anyway, I got an idea, so I'm following up. Uh, there's something down here you should see. I'm at the old railroad yard, uh, just off Flagler. I'll be in there somewhere, so I'll uh, look for your lights, okay? 
Hurry. You'll find me. Come on.
heard the message on your machine. It was supposed to be me. It wasn't me. So I ran right over here, okay? What the hell's going on? Dolphins are lousy this year. Mets won the World Series. Your husband sounds like a lost my life. My wife likes women. <laughs> Come on, one more, one more proof do you need? Come on. Okay. And you won't mind if you walk in front of me and keep your distance. It's fine. Okay. Look at I shot a man. Right there. And now he's gone. We are not capable of handling this. I mean, there were people chasing me with torches and robes on them, and there they were, and then they weren't there. Shit, I killed a man right there, and now he's gone. Maybe, maybe they brought him. Shit, yeah. Pete, what are we gonna do? What? What? Come on, hurry. Uh, Hope you doesn't know any dogs. The fucking guy probably owns a tiger. The police officers breaking and entering? So? So, be careful. Look, look, got any better ideas? Chime in. I will. Good. What? We're next. Come on, let's go. Ah, shit. It's time for the burglar. Louisiana? Come in. Excuse me, are you Professor Sinclair? Sorry, Professor Sinclair, number 44. Thank you. Sorry. Bye bye. Bye bye. Father? Can I offer you some tea? Thank you. I, I would love some. 
to you. Uh, no, thank you, sir. Go on in. Say hello to my wife, Margaret. She can't speak. When you uh, telephoned me, you uh, mentioned one of my books. Yes, sir. Life Among the Tribes. We're particularly interested in a chapter dedicated to the severing of hemp. Would you care for a biscuit, officer? Uh, no, thanks. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm okay. The decapitations. Are you referring to the murders I've been reading about? Yes, sir. We've done a little research on our own, and what we've come up with closely compares to the chapter that you wrote on Chikati Tumo. I see. Seems impossible. This to occur in Miami is unthinkable. Well, how about this? We've got a pocket of Nigerians who have fled their villages and immigrated to Miami. Why? Well, it seems that they were trying to free something. And, uh, it's followed them. Not to be rude, sir. But do you really believe that there is something superhuman that is responsible for these murders? I mean, could it simply be a man who just... <laughs> there is no logical explanation. It is as I read it. Yes, but uh, there's one important bit of information missing. What is that? How can it be stopped? Killed. Dead. You'll understand from my book that those that represent resistance to his quest for domination become his most desired conquest. So you deliberately left that part out because you were afraid he'd kill you too? My duty as a scholar is to present all the facts. It's overcome by man's most basic desire, survival. Look, you've got to help us find a way to stop this thing. Simple. But almost impossible. Dismemberment. Head, arms, legs, complete separation of all major body parts. Disrupt the evil flowing through his being. And, uh, how are we supposed to get close enough to accomplish this small task? I told you. It's simple, but nearly impossible. It's been defeated before, and it'll be defeated again. Ralph. Is there, is there anything else you can tell us? Do it quickly. Its power can spread almost geometrically. Well, we gotta go. Um, thank you. Thank you. Find this guy before he unloads again. 
again. Can I get some help? You want a tip? Stop looking for me. Get some results. Look, you got a problem with that, we'll hash this out some other time. Well then, suspect. We must be dreaming. You can't even find it, let alone chop the son of a bitch up. Who are we gonna get to perform this act? I'll do it. You wouldn't. You can't. Why not? Well, because what if none of this is true? What if it's human? So what are you saying? You don't believe this shit either? Car 17, we have a code for it in progress. Proceed to LA 1520. We're on our way. keeps the relationship fresh. Peter. I'll help, okay? When he comes, we'll check him out. Discreetly. Oh, shit. Um. Yeah. God. <laughs> you don't seem to understand. No matter what we prove, it doesn't alter the fact that I wanted to kill him. I've devoted my life to science. You see what's happened? What good has it done me? What chance have I got to fight? Why should I be the one? Can you answer me that? What I mean? Why should I be the one picked up for this? Please tell me why! I know how you feel, pal.
supposed to be a dinner date, not a drug bust. Hey, Pete. It's good work. None today, Raj. Yeah, well, we don't have those kind of days. What do you mean? I mean, we all have bad days. Don't we? Yeah. Um, so, where are we gonna go tonight? When we, uh, go have Chinese? Hey, guys, what's up? You look like you're sizing me up for a fine box. No, no. Actually, we have a bet going. Really? What is it? I can't bet that you were... No, actually, I bet that you were 6'5". can't bet that you were 6'2". Uh, so, what does she win? See? Hey guys, you okay? Why don't, uh, why don't we just order in and stay here? I mean, with this, uh, this headhunter thing's getting to you. What are you talking about? Hey, take it easy, Pete. I mean, maybe you just need a rest. I, I would. What is all this shit about me taking a rest, huh? Don't worry about me, Sonny. I'm up to it. This is going to be like Dorothy in the fucking Wicked Witch of the West. Except you know what? I'm going to piss on that thing. Melt it into a little puddle. You'll be okay. Just needs to blow off some steam. Yeah. <clears throat> I suppose. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. I don't tell you. Get the Chinese food and bring it back here. Okay, but I want to go with you. No, it's okay. I'll be right back. You go right? Yeah. Just hurry. I will. I'll be right back, and uh, I'll tell you what. What? I'll bring you a surprise. What? You'll see. differently is dangerous. You got that? Don't believe everything you hear, okay? I'm fine. And yeah, maybe you ought to take a rest. I'm resting, okay? Yeah, but well, don't go to sleep, asshole. Hey, Julia. <laughs> hey, surprise. Hey, what the fuck's the matter with you? Hey, your mother have any kids that live, you asshole? Harry, do it again and put it on his bill. Julia. Pete, I, I just took a chance to be there. You there? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be here. Look, give me a break. This is this is hard for me. Please. I don't know why you're calling me here, but this, uh, this ain't a real good place to discuss things, you know? Will you uh, move to the house and discuss things? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, what's to discuss? You're my husband. Uh, I want to talk. Please. Sound like me. I know, I know. You said the same thing. I know, really, I do. I just, Pete, please, just come over and talk, okay? Okay, I'll, uh, I'll be over. What? Soon. Okay. Okay. See you soon.
want a drink or something? Uh, so. So, you doing okay? Eating regularly? Nothing different. Yeah. What is this all about? talking to Murphy about how I feel. Feel? I, I don't know. Maybe this is a bad idea. Look. Just say what's on your mind, okay? Don't do this to me. I'm not doing it. It's crazy. There's so much to say, you know? So much is happening. Like I can't just say a few magic words to make things better, but uh, I want to make things better between us again. And I don't really know what that means exactly. It's, uh, it's, it's just a feeling. Look, if this is uh, let's let's uh, be friends. Pep talk. Uh, you're gonna have to give it some more time. You want to get back together? I mean, is that, is that what you're saying? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> man, you, you're something. I, I, you're something, man. I'm being honest. Yeah, well, I gotta go to chat. Thank you. 
What the hell is that thing? I want to personally thank you for all that you've done for us.